Welcome to Castletown, ancient capital of man. Now let us show you around. The biggest attraction in Castletown is, of course, Castle Russian. One of the best preserved medieval castles in the whole of Europe. This one was built in the 12th century, I believe, for a Norse king. It has seen a lot of use over the years. Uh, I think Parliament was there, it was a prison. It was all sorts of things. You can visit inside. Now, I'm not going to go in because it costs 12 quid, but it's totally worth going inside. It's very well preserved. It tells you a lot about the history of the Isle of Man. And if you go right to the top there, then you also get really, really nice views of Castle Town. And of course, Castle Russian being right in the center of Castle Town, this also puts you in close proximity to many other attractions, such as the Old House of Keys, which is right here across the road. From 1821 to 1874, this was the home of Tinwald. Before that, our parliament didn't actually have a permanent home. I believe they used to meet in the bishop's library and, of course, in the castle as well. 1821 to 1874, well, 1821 or thereabouts, someone decided maybe it's time to have a permanent home, you know, just to call it a parliament. So this was it. 1874, they moved on to the building that I showed you in the Douglas Guide, what we call the wedding cake. But this is the old house of keys here in Castletown. You can visit this, but I believe you need a booking. I will put the link to Manx National Heritage in the description. Because what you can do is, if you're a group, you can do a group booking and then you can go in there and sit down like the politicians of old and, well, pretend to play politics. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to do a much worse job than the current lot that we have. And right next to the old house of Keys, which is there, you're going to find the old grammar school. This building, which you can also visit during the summer months, should be open. It was started life as a chapel, I believe in the 13th century, so it's really, really old. And then it was converted into a school, so you can visit that. You can see how you know, kids used to get their education in the Isle of Man in the olden, olden days. Now, kids back then may have had it a little bit harder than kids today, but they certainly didn't lack a really stunning sea view. As holds true for pretty much anywhere in the Isle of Man, nature and wildlife are never far away. And that also holds true for Castletown, where you will not only find a beautiful coastline and the harbor, this is a great fishing spot, by the way, but you can also watch a lot of wildlife. Again, we have some free, where's it gone? There, binocular thing here. And some description, if you're lucky, you may even find our, or spot our most famous visitor on the Isle of Man. And that, of course, is the basking shark, the second biggest fish in the world. It's pretty big, 10 meters or thereabouts, weighs a couple of tons. And they are regularly spotted around the waters here. There are also excursions if you want to go further out to spot one potentially. Uh, if you just Google it, there are some people you can take you out on a boat. There's a certain season of the year where you see these mostly. But yeah, if you're lucky, you may even spot one here. But certainly, you know, just a walk along the coast, just to take in the scenery, is always worthwhile. On the subject of wildlife and nature, you may want to take a five minute drive or about 15 minute walk out of town center and visit the Scarlet Visitor Center and Nature Trail. As you can see, there's plenty to be seen here and it's still sponsored by Manx Airlines, which makes me think the sign was probably installed here a little while ago. But the place hasn't changed. It's still full of things to discover, especially if you like the outdoors and nature and flora and fauna as we have it here in abundance. And the visitor center will also guide you. And there are people here when it's open, opening times, I'll stick it in the description, who can basically tell you all about the things you can see on the island. And I assure you, it's a very beautiful and very biodiverse place, which is why the whole Isle of Man as a country, is the only country in the world where the whole place is a UNESCO biosphere. So if you like nature, this is your place. Also, if you do like a bit of a walk in nature, then you can just take the short drive over to this lighthouse that you see there. That is the Langness Peninsula. 
used to be the home or the second or third or fourth home, whatever it was, of a famous motoring related TV presenter who used to live here because his previous wife, I believe, was from here. And it's, so he's not there anymore. Something happened and he moved away, but the lighthouse is still there and Langness is a really nice place to go for a walk. It's just outside of Castletown. And yeah, if you just want, you know, a quiet stroll around a really green area by the sea, take a walk around Langness. If you're in Castletown, try Radcliffe's Butchers. They have a selection, great selections of local meat. And I'm still trying to find out the recipe for their beef stroganoff. There's two food recommendations for you. You can try Kizuna Japanese Restaurant, where you, the only Japanese restaurant in the island, and they offer different sushi selections. And if you want to try something simple, try, go to Secret Pizza. They offer vegan and gluten-free pizzas. And if you want to try something sweet, go to Memory Lane Sweet Shop. One place really worth visiting if you're in Castletown or right outside of it to be precise, is the Manx Aviation and Military History Museum. It's very hard to miss because it has two big Manx Airlines planes parked right outside. That's the airline we used to have here. And if you ask any locals, they all miss it very dearly because at the moment, as you probably know, if you traveled here, air travel can be a bit of a challenge. But this wonderful facility, which is relatively small, is crammed with everything there is to know and learn about the quite colorful and vast aviation and military history the Isle of Man has you'll be surprised how much there is to learn, how many different crews from all over the world used to come here and train here and how much has happened here over the years. Admission to the museum is free. It's right outside, it's right next to the airport. It's very hard to miss. And I really recommend you give it a try because it is absolutely lovely and it is packed with information that you probably didn't know about the island. There are a couple of things worth looking at when you're around the harbor area of Castletown and that's apart from the very pretty harbor itself of course it's very picturesque just like walking through a postcard well number one is the nautical museum and when you are in castletown you may hear people talk about someone or something called peggy and that's not a person that's a boat it is the oldest still existing manx vessel and i think it's one of the first or was the first armed yacht in Britain. It's a very special boat that was built by a MHK many, many years ago. It's one of the few surviving 18th century boats. Uh, it is on display. They're currently trying to raise funds and get the government to pay for a new facility to store it and display it because being an old wooden boat in this climate, you know, it's deteriorating fast. Uh, so they're currently trying to find the money for that. I will put the link on how you can visit it and how you can go to that museum in the description. So that's one thing you can do when you're down here near the harbor. And of course, the other thing the harbor here is famous for is in July, we do have the World Tin Bath Championships, which take place right here. Another highlight next to the road racing. So if you have a tin bath or you just want to watch people row around in tin baths and more often than not, not making it to the other side, then visit Castletown in July, which is a good idea anyway, because it's absolutely beautiful and warm. So yeah, those are two of the things you can do when you're down here by the harbor, or you can of course just walk around and take in the beautiful scenery. Of course, Castletown is home to the other road racing circuit in the Isle of Man. Time your visit right and you see this. So if after all that walking you've had enough of walking around and looking at things and you just want to relax a bit, then I recommend you drive out towards Derby Haven, which is near the airport. When you drive there, you will pass on the right hand side what is known as Hango Hill. 
That's one of the other sort of monument landmarks here. It, I believe, started as a ancient burial site. It was then used as a place for execution when we still did that kind of thing here. And it's actually the remains of a summer house of some noble person or other, as far as I remember. If you pass that, on the left you will see a big building that's not a castle, that's King Edward College. If you are posh, that's where you send your kids. And then if you keep going, on the right you will see a beautiful little beach where there's always camper vans, which is just really nice to park up and just, you know, look out to the sea, have a barbecue, do nothing. But if you carry on driving, you're going to reach one of my favorite parts, and we're passing it right now. That's Derby Haven Beach. I mean, just look how pretty that is. It's one of my favorite parts of the island. It's also right next to the airport. It's just so picturesque here. And if you keep driving along this road, then you're going to reach my recommendation when it comes to food and drink on this trip next to, and cakes, <laughs> next to, of course, having a proper meal in town. And that is Cafe 26, so named because it is next to Runway 26 at the airport. So if you like me and you like cake and planes, no better place. You can walk around the airport and the runway, or you can just sit there, have a tea, have a cake, and let the world go by. If you're not just into nature, but also into stargazing, then you're in luck on the Isle of Man, because we have, I believe, 26 dark sky sites because there's very little light pollution in this place. And one of the best sites, not just for scenic views of the coastline, but also for really undisturbed and nice and clear views of the sky, if the sky allows, is Fort Island, which is next to Castletown. Just follow the signs for the old Castletown Golf Links Hotel. By the way, Carl, there is still a very nice golf course here. It's just a hotel that used to go with the golf course is not open anymore, hasn't been open for many, many years, but the golf course itself is still there. I'll put the link in the description how to play there because it is a very nice course. And I mean, you can see the scenery here, right? It's pretty spectacular, so. But if you're not into golf and instead you want to do some stargazing, there it is, the little fort. Some stunning pictures and scenic views to be had during the day and at night. So, and with this beautiful view from near Fort Island, which is right behind us here, that's the end of our little trip to Castletown or little guide. I know there's other things we could mention and there's of course a lot of stuff to be seen around the Castletown, around the island and we're going to cover that in another video. You know things like Russian Abbey and Silverdale Glen and all the other glens and things. So there's more to come. Let's pace ourselves. I hope you liked our little walk around Castletown. A couple of ideas for you when you're there. Definitely do try and catch the racing if you can. Southern 100 is in July and the pre-TT races in May. There's no post-TT races anymore, so you can't watch those anymore. Just keep that in mind. Well, that's it. Castletown is a really nice place, our ancient capital, and always worth a visit. Thank you for watching. See you next time.